They don't have my skinny cows. So this Sunday was the best Sunday ever because I was actually able to go grocery shopping. I'm not gonna lie, my health has been off for the last couple of days. Really my diet because my refrigerator was broken for at least two weeks. So I was just eating out all the time. I just kept eating out. It didn't even matter. I was like pizza, Panda Express, Chipotle. Not that Chipotle is bad, but I just started eating everything out and I'm the type of guy who really likes to save money so I was spending a lot of money and I wasn't eating healthy. I was actually able to go grocery shopping at Trader Joe's, that is my place. It is cheap there, it's a little farther away from me, I take like, you know, Subway up and then I'll take an Uber back down, but I get all the healthy foods that I can get and it's for a decent price. So my brother and I went this past Sunday, I went ahead and blogged this, I wanted you guys to go ahead, check it out, see what I get to eat, see why I get it and then at the end I kind of do a little bit of a wrap up. so you guys can see so you can plan for yourself I hope you guys enjoy so the thing that sucks is that in New York at least on the west side it seems like the trains are always broken or they're always being fixed or they're closing one down so we're actually gonna take the bus instead of the subway um, I don't think I've shown you all exactly how the bus is so yeah we're gonna take the bus so we definitely just luckily made it in I'm like a little bit out of breath man I need to do more cardio G. Like we were running and we ran like maybe like less than like 200 steps. Alright, so usually what I'd like to do is I like to get everything kind of like in batches based off of the store layout. So for the first thing, I'm gonna get like all my like dairies, meats, all that, and then I'm actually gonna do the carbs and get like the the rice, the um, bread, rice, bread, all that jazz. what everybody knows Trader Joe's for is there are long lines so but the good thing is these lines go by like super quick um, like super super quick and I'll probably be like ready to go in like less than 10 minutes like, I forgot where Najee went but yeah my family's trying to get into that oh really yeah 9507 alright so not that bad of a price I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys inside and I'll kind of go over what I got see you later All right, so a lot of people ask me, Noah, what is it that you do when you wanna go eat? So I wanted to go ahead and show you, after my shopping haul at Trader Joe's, go ahead and show you exactly what I got, why I got it, and um, yeah, just so you can be a little bit more informed of maybe when you're grocery shopping, when you're eating, what to think about based off of your goals. My goals are to gain a little bit more muscle this summer, but then also having a little bit of, uh, still having that lean look a little bit. So kind of start, start off with the carbs area. So right here, I have my ciabatta bread, my rice, my pita bread. These are the, the carbs that I like to kind of stick to. Um, of course, like the snacks with the pop, the pop popcorn. But what these, what this allows me to do is it allows me to get a good enough carbs in my system. I usually have these for breakfast with my eggs. I usually have this with a sim, as a sandwich before my workouts. And I usually have these as my side carbs for like my lunch and my dinner. Moving over to the proteins, I like to try to bury up my proteins. So like I'll have my salmon, um, I'll have about, well, I'll have like each day is basically a protein. So I have like salmon one day, ground turkey, chicken, and then chicken. But this ground turkey, it was actually funny. So I grabbed the ground beef, but then I looked at it and um, 
it was kind of crazy because I looked at it and then if you look at this saturated fat content, it basically says two grams, uh, two grams of saturated fat. The ground beef had, I want to say it was a nine grams of saturated fat. Now saturated fat is the fat that you actually don't want to be having too much of. So I was like, you know what, let me put this back and get the ground turkey. Now two types of chicken. I'm just obsessed with this pollo asado um, autitico chicken. It's awesome. Uh, I usually get that, it's pre-seasoned. All you have to do is basically put it in a skillet and then cook it. And then I like to also make my own food based off of this app. And I'll actually show you when I make this um, off this app called Yumly. It was like a pesto, tomato, chicken meal type thing. So that's why I have the pesto right there. And then of course I have the eggs that I have in the morning. I have around three or four eggs every morning. Um, and then some more protein would be this Fage yogurt, this Fage Fage yogurt, 2%. Um, very good option to have. I usually have this as a snack with my grapes, which I'll get to the fruit in a little bit. But I usually have this with my grapes to make sure that uh, I'm getting some healthy fat and protein in during the day. Speaking of the fruits, we have grapes, we have the tomato, like I said, to go with that meal that I have. Um, I have some clementines that I like to have in the morning with the eggs and the, the egg wrap. And then I put the spinach in that egg wrap. And then I have apples for snacks throughout the day. To, and I'll kind of pair it up with some more snacks. Finishing off, got some almond milk. I really only use this for my um, shakes, my protein shakes. To be honest, this is the only thing I use it for. And then same thing with the peanut butter. I'm not a big fan of just peanut butter by itself. It's too dry, but I'll put it in my shakes. Um, Garbanzo beans, basically I learned about in, um, whatchamacallit, on the Yumly app. Good thing about this, it has six grams of protein, which is pretty good. 22 grams of carbohydrates, six grams of fiber, so it's a pretty healthy, um, it's pretty healthy carb and, and protein, so that's pretty dope. Pasta sauce, you can't go wrong with pasta sauce, especially when you're like, you know, living on a budget and stuff. The thing I always make sure I have in sauce is pasta and pasta sauce. Like, I always make sure I have that, so if I, I'm ever being lazy, I'll at least have something that I can put together, mix together, and eat. Now, the snacks, I already went over the fact that I have the popcorn, the cheese puffs, I mean, white cheddar, these are just like my favorite, and then pumpkin seeds. These are a great source of protein. If you saw my protein snacks video, I'll put that in the card above. This right here, man, look at that, 15 grams of total fat, but only 2.5 grams of saturated, which means that's around, you know, 12.5 grams of like that good fat. Look at that, that polyunsaturated, all those unsaturated fats, those are key. Um, and then, of course, nine grams of protein. So, a great snack that will keep you full, that's healthy, and yeah, that's the whole shebang. I think it was 92, let me find this receipt. Ugh. All right, so it was 95, 95.07 was how much this all cost. And the great thing is, that's not how much I actually spend every week. I try to budget around $80. There's a few things in here that can last a little bit longer. For example, the rice will probably last a little bit longer. Uh, my egg, since I got two cartons, that will probably go over for a little bit. Peanut butter, since I don't use that much. Uh, the snacks, like the sunflower, uh, the pumpkin seeds. Yeah, so most of that stuff has got to last me for a good little bit. So that's not going to be repetitive um, or repeating purchases. Now, the one thing I didn't show you guys is exactly the vegetables, and that's because I actually already had vegetables already. Um, but I already bought them. I'm a frozen vegetable guy, I'm not going to lie. I have everything from, let me show you, green beans, green beans, broccoli. These are not mine. Are they mine? No, they're not mine. Broccoli, corn, those are like my go-to guys. Yeah, corn. So, whoa. It makes you full, man. So that's about it. If you did have any questions, feel free to go ahead and put them in the comment box below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll catch y'all later. You already know, embrace the hype. Actually, I forgot one last thing. Can't forget this. No! Dude, they're gone? What? No way. They don't have my skinny cows. I am so sad. I gotta find... Dude, I gotta find one.
Guys, you see, it's it's like that much of like a demand. Like somebody already already has it. They had it in a bag already. Like guys, that's so depressing. Like how is there not any city skitty cows available? Like, I'm just I'm super appalled right now. <sighs> Maybe another time.